What a unique time to be alive, where on the one hand, our nation is experiencing loss, fear, trauma, and on the other hand, we're experiencing unity like personally I've never seen before, and, and people that I speak to from generations prior attest that no one has ever experienced uni unity like this in, in such mass form in the Jewish community, where no matter who you are, no matter what you look like, no matter what you do, feel, think, there's a tie, there's a bond. So I want to take a moment through the Parsha, Chayisara, to understand unity in a little bit. It's a little indirect, but we'll, but we'll see, it'll tie in. So the, in the Parsha, we know that at the very end, it's funny to mention the, the grandfathers of, of this, this battle, but Yishmael, the son of Avram, and Yitzchak, the son of Avram, both go to bury their father, Avram. And Rashi says that we know that Yishmael did tshuva. We know that he, re did, he had a full repentance because of the fact that he let Yitzchak go ahead of him. It should have said in the parsha that Yishmael and Yitzchak went to bury Avram, but instead it says that Yitzchak and Yishmael went to bury Avram. And, and it's interesting if you think about it. To me, that's not really the biggest indication that Yishmael became a holy person, that he, became, that he turned his life around. Tell me he kept Shabbat. Tell me he, he puts tefillin on. Tell me he eats kosher now. Tell me he doesn't murder people anymore. But, but to tell me that, that, he, that he, he, put, he let Yitzhak go ahead of him, I don't understand. And, and I think to that to understand Rashi on a little bit of a deeper level, it's true. It was a bonding force. It was something that, that, that did help him and Yitzhak connect, potentially, and, and did allow for him to understand that Yitzhak was more important than him. And, and, and ultimately on a higher level than him. But it's not just that. He also understood who he was. He also understood on a deep level and was comfortable with the fact that Yitzchak is, is greater than me. I'm older, but Yitzchak is greater than me. I am not as great as Yitzchak. And that's okay. That's okay. I think for all of us, when it comes to our relationships with other people, people that we're directly connected to, and people in the rest of the Jewish nation and, and the world that, that we're not so directly connected to, for us to be able to say, you know what, it's okay, I, I am who I am. Hashem appreciates me the way I am. Hashem wants me to continue growing, obviously, but, but to acknowledge the reality of who we are, that's at the core of achdut, that's at the core of unity. And, to, and, and once we come to that place of being content with who we are, we can then start to allow others to be, to be seen as ahead of us and maybe even greater than us by ourselves. And you know what? That's going to be what ultimately allows for the connection to take place and allows for all of us to become one. Thank you, everybody. Shabbat Shalom. This should be a Shabbat that we all continue to grow in our unity and our connection with each other. Take it to spend the time with your family, to spend, to spend the time thinking about our brothers and sisters abroad, and, and you know, just continue growing in, in this area. Shabbat Shalom.